In this video, we will solve real world problem using vectors. It's from the lesson 7.1. Here we have been told regarding aviation, an airplane is flying with an airspeed of 310 knots on a heading of 50 degrees. 0, 5, 0 means it is from the north. See, from the north, here 50 degrees. It's just more than 45, right? So that will be the plane. It's heading with 310 knots. If 78 knots wind is blowing from a true heading of 125 degrees, it's going towards north over here. Imagine this is the wind. The angle is 78, sorry, 125 degrees, more than 90. So this must be 128 degrees. This was 50 degrees, all from north. Now determine the speed, the direction of the plane related to the ground. Okay. We need to find the speed and the direction relative. That means we have to just resolve this vector. See now, this wind, right, is blowing throughout. It's blowing everywhere in the same direction, isn't it? So instead of writing it down, I'll just write it up over here. See, let me show it. This is the plane. This will be the wind. Wind is somewhat over here going like this. So these two over here, the resultant will be this new vector, which is in little bold. That will be the resultant vector. If the plane is actually trying to fly here where the wind is blowing, so it will result over here, this one, this vector. So now my figures are not so clear. Let, me, let us just go to the figures over here. We'll understand much better. As you can see here, this was the plane, which is in blue. The red is the wind. Instead of drawing it over here, we can draw it the same thing over there. What is the angle? What is this angle exactly? See, this total angle is 125. But we know till the plane it is 50. So what is the remaining angle here? It's 125 minus 50. That's 75. This is 75 degrees. These are alternate angles. So if this is 75, this will also be 75 degrees. So this is 75 here. We want theta, this value. But we don't know that. We know total theta plus alpha over here given is 50 degrees. So what we need to do is, if we know this 75, we know this is 310, we know this is 78. We need to relate this and find this angle here. If you find this angle, then we can easily find this angle. Or, and uh, that is one thing, and also we need to find this magnitude here. So how do we find that? 75 degrees. I know these two. This is the included angle. Now I remember uh, cosine law, law of cosine. What does it say? Law of cosine is you can find any side. Imagine this opposite side of this angle, not any side, opposite angle. If you know one angle, the opposite side can be found out. Now this is given as G. Just remember, I'll, I'll take it as R resultant. Okay. So R square will be equal to these sum of these two sides. Now, it's not writing exam, so I'll directly write the values here. 78 squared plus 310 squared minus 2 times these two values, 78 times 310 cosine of what is this angle, included angle, it's 75 degrees. So if you take the square root of this, you get R, the resultant over here. All you need to do is the square root. Let me, if you take square root, the square cancels, right? Just the square root. All you do is put it in the calculator. Square root. Now let's type it out. 78 squared plus 310 squared minus 2 times 78 times 310 times cosine 75 degrees. Close the bracket. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode. Yes, it is in degree, so I can use 75. If it was in radian, imagine you had this R value here. Now the answer is wrong. So make sure press shift 4 and 3 or clear your calculator. The default mode is in degree. The answer is 299.44. So we got the magnitude of the, cal uh, of the uh, plane, you know, R is 299.44. So looking at the options, you can easily eliminate the wrong options and see which magnitude has 299.44. That is one of the correct answer. But we don't know the angle theta. We need to find the speed and the direction, isn't it? 
So speed is found out. R is the speed. The direction now, we need to find this direction, alpha. Then we can easily solve. See, now what we know is, we know this distance. Opposite angle can be solved. Uh, this is law of sines. See, I'll tell. I'll write over here. A, A. Angle A, this is side A. If you have B and this is B, then we have the formula sine A by A is equal to sine B by B. This is law of sines. So here, what do we know? We know, imagine the 75 degrees. So if I take sine 75 degrees divided by what is this? 299.44. That will be equal to what is the other angle? We don't know this. Let us find that out. Sine unknown angle. Okay, let me write it as B only. Divided by what is this dimension? Magnitude 78. So put this in the calculator. You can find for B. But how do you put that is? You need to take 78 to the other side and then sine inverse. If you resolve this up, see what happens? 78 goes to the other side, right? I'll write sine B first. Let me write it over here. Sine B will be equal to 78 multiplied by sine 75 divided by 299.44. But how do you find the B? We need the angle. So you need to take sine inverse on both the sides. So it's going to be sine inverse of this entire thing. So I'll just put in the calculator and tell you the answer. Here, this answer was the magnitude of the, the speed of the plane. Now what you need to do is sine inverse of 78 times sine 45, sorry, sine 75 divided by, you can write it as answer because it's already saved over there, 299.44. And, okay, we are getting an error. Sine inverse of sine, I've not closed the bracket. You can see here I've forgotten to close the bracket. That's the reason the error. The answer is 14.57 degrees. Here, this angle is 14.57. What is theta then? Total is 50, right? 50 degrees minus 14.57 will give you theta because the total is 50. This much is known to be 14.57. Just do 50 minus 14.57. The answer, the answer is 35.42. So here the speed is 299.44. The direction is for 15 point something okay for 15.4 uh, whatever we got it okay yeah it's 15.43 so that's how we solve it let's look at an answer see this is how we solve it the cosine rule we got the same answer 299.4 and then that is the speed and then we have to find the angle it is i think so yeah it is uh sorry not 15 what was i saying it is 50 degrees minus 14.57, that is 35.4. Yes, exactly correct. So that is the answer. Now, when we write it over here, because everything is originally given in terms of 0, 3, 5, or 0, 5, 5 or something, we just write 35 degrees from north, isn't it? That direction was from north. So we write 0, 3, 5 degrees. Now, in your case, you will have options. So just select whichever is approximately correct to 35.4. If it was 35.6, 35.6, you might have 036 degrees. That's the correct answer. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.